Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht was at way stations around Lake Winnebago today. She shows us what Sturgeon Spears thought of this rather slow season. As the shanties went out two weekends ago, Sturgeon Spears were optimistic. But as the 16-day season wore on, hopes began to fade. Well, it was pretty ugly out here for most of them. Yeah, dirty, dirty, dirty. Today is day 16 of the 2013 spear fishery for sturgeon here on Lake Winnebago. And uh, our thoughts are the season's it's drug on. It's been a long season. DNR sturgeon biologist Ryan Koenig says despite seeing record fish sizes, the number of sturgeon harvested this year is nearly an exact match of last year's totals. In 2012, 566 fish were harvested from the Winnebago system. This year, Spears topped that by just one. Koenig says it's the second year in a row for low totals. We've seen some really nice fish harvested, but overall, with the poor water clarity, the harvest has been down. Though 2013 was a slow season out on the ice, many Spears still got out in their shanties on the last day of the season, enjoying each other's company and the tradition of sturgeon spearing. It's a remarkable creature, and just the fact that we can have our spears can go out and harvest as many fish as they do even in down years. This doesn't happen like this anywhere else in the world. And despite not catching anything, many fishermen still say the annual tradition was worth it. It was awesome. <laughs> Every day. And there's always hope for catching one of the prehistoric fish next year. But they're out there. On Lake Winnebago, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. DNR says thanks to the rules and caps of the last 20 to 30 years, they expect that the taking of large fish will continue year after year.